Hi guys, uh, this week on Big on Wine, it's time for the Hawaiian shirt because I'm off to Portugal to try another of those delicious Duro Reds coming right up. Hi folks, welcome to yet another edition of Big on Wine, the show, as you know by now, that brings you news clues and uh, yeah reviews about yes everything in the world of wine and of course all the wines that i uh, review on this show i pay for with my own money they're my own picks and they are i assure you extensively tested okay my wine of the week for this week is from uh, portugal and the duro valley and it's this one here it's a uh, quinta da devesa Tinto and the vintage is 2014 and this Duro Red comes in for a price of just under 14 euro a bottle where I am. Now this wine here is officially DOC Duro, in other words Dominación de Origem Controlada, that was a bit of a mouthful, I won't be trying that again. And of course, the reference here is to the River Douro, which is the great river of northern Iberia, which starts in Spain as the Duero and flows through northern Portugal into the Atlantic at Porto. Actually, the wine region DOC Douro is well inland from Porto, and this one here, Quinta da Devesa is a good 120 kilometers uh, or so east of Porto, roughly halfway between Porto and the Spanish border. Okay, now in this wine we have, uh, in terms of grape varieties, all the usual suspects. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean the Turiga Nacional, the Tinta Roriz, of course, known as Tempranillo in Spain. We have the Turiga Franca and the Tinta Barroca. Now these are the big red grapes, of course, that go into the production of port wine as well. Now the wines from the Douro Valley, the uh, still wines are, of course, characterized by that intense color and, of course, by the uh, high level of alcohol they normally contain. Now this contains 14% alcohol by volume and just one gram per litre of residual sugar. So this is absolutely classic Duro Red here. In terms of colour, let's take a look at it. Well, we have the classic dark purple red, very kind of dense, berry, heavy looking wine in the glass. Okay, let's uh, try this in the nose first. Yes, indeed. Now, the first thing, of course, that strikes me here is naturally the array of berries which um, communicate themselves to me. So, kind of black currant, um, sour cherry in particular. Sour cherry is probably the dominant one, but also blackberry and a certain degree of toastiness in the nose as well. Very, very, very appealing. Okay. Let's try it in the mouth and see what we get. Now this wine is somewhere between medium and full bodied. Um, it has some interesting back notes there of spiciness, maybe even a touch of mocha in the background there. Um, let's try it one more time. Yes, I would say that in the background there is just that touch of um, leather. Um, and also maybe a, a touch of mocha or chocolate, but it's the kind of spicy um, blackcurrant blackberry sour cherry, which uh, is really the dominant feature of this wine. It's 
actually relatively light. Now, I think this is a wine that does require food to accompany it. Um, so what are we actually going to be eating along with our um, Quinta da Devesa? Well, I think we're talking here, you know, how about a sirloin steak, medium, medium rare, leg of lamb, maybe with garlic, um, strong cheeses, particularly of the blue variety, blue Stilton or something like that. Italian gorgonzola would also work extremely well with this wine. Serving temperature, well, I think we're looking at pretty much room temperature, which of course nowadays is around the 20 degree mark. In the old days was more like sort of around the 18 degree mark. So around the 18, 19 degree mark is the right temperature for serving this wine. Let's bring you the heads up on this Duro Red. We're talking Quinta da Devesa Tinto 2014. Comes in for a price of around 14 euro where I am. This is a simple Duro Red, big on colour, big on flavour, big on alcohol. It needs red meat really to accompany it. This is the ideal wine if you're running a buffet around the barbecue out in your garden this summer. I'm going to give Quinta da Devesa a rating of three stars plus out of five. Okay, guys, many, many thanks for taking the time to uh, watch this week's uh, Big on Wine and the little intro to the Quinta da Devesa. If you like a simple Duro Red, then this is the one for you at a decent price. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do give us that big thumbs up, which we appreciate so much. Drop a comment down below if you feel like it. Follow me on my other social media platforms. And hey, how about subscribing by hitting that big red button over there somewhere? I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week. But until we meet again, this is Tony Melville signing off and saying, hey, take care out there, be good to each other, enjoy your wines, and cheers. <laughs>